All right. Good morning, YouTube, or afternoon, evening, or night, depending on where you are in the world. It's Casual Friday, Alan Brunicini, Hawaiian shirts. Thank you, COVID-19. Today, we're going to be talking about fire extinguishers. You may recognize the familiar red shell. You may have a stainless steel, brushed nickel, polished nickel. You may have a white one. Regardless, there's each color has its own manufacturer, has its own system. But on the label, you have universal indicators because there's different types of extinguishers because there's different types of fires. Different types of fires? Yes. If you have a fire from a material that makes an ash, you have a type A fire, kind of like a Christmas tree. That green triangle that has that capital A is an ordinary combustible and you can use water to put that up. A type B fire is a fire in a, from a fuel that you'd find in a bottle or a barrel. And that fire, you obviously would not want to put water on because it would make it spread. And so it's a different type of fire. A type C fire is a fire that is in charged electrical equipment. The issue with charged electrical equipment is that there's electricity that, well, if we use that type A extinguisher of water on a charged electrical circuit, the electricity runs up that stream of water right back to the extinguisher, right back to the individual holding it. Bad situation, bad day. If we can turn off the electricity, it's no longer charged, now it's just an A or a B. But if we have to fight it while there's electricity on it, we need an extinguisher that won't conduct electricity. A type B, a type D fire. Well. You notice the green triangle, the red square, the blue circle, the yellow star, it's actually kind of a gold star. I want you to go back to kindergarten, pre-K. You did something good, you got a gold star. Gold, a metal, type D fires are those flammable metals. You're not going to see an extinguisher for type D fires. And we'll talk about that in just a second. But let's talk about our last one. This black hexagon with the K inside. The K is for kitchen. And the reason why we have a kitchen extinguisher, the majority of kitchen fires are either from a charged electrical issue or an oven or a frying pan that we left on the stove. And if you were to spray a type B extinguishing agent onto your stove, the fine powder that gets shot out of that extinguisher at high speed makes its way everywhere. Your closed kitchen cabinet, your closed dining room china hutch is gonna have this fine extinguishing powder this dust everywhere, and your HVAC, your air conditioner, is gonna have this powder shut down your filter, and it's gonna have it all over your house. So they came up with a fire extinguishing agent that's similar to water, but it puts out that kitchen grease fire with the addition of a little additive, it's called a uh, surfactant. And we won't get into the, the chemistry of it all, but that surfactant will actually break the water surface tension down. It will make the water soak in, but more importantly, it'll actually break the 
oil down and saponify, big special fancy word, that means we're gonna take that oil and we're gonna chemically break the oil apart and we're gonna make soapy water out of the water and some of the oil parts and close up the oil in a soapy bubble so that it doesn't burn anymore and it cools it down. So a, a type K extinguisher doesn't put the powder all over your kitchen and doesn't mess up your HVAC and doesn't mess up your house as much as the other ones would. But a fire would mess up your house much worse than any of this stuff that we've talked about. So no matter what you have, I need you to be able to put out the fire. So let's talk about an extinguisher. The extinguisher, whether it's a red, white, silver, A, B, C, or K, you'll notice I've got A, B, C on my extinguisher. But I've also got some pictographs down here. So you can see a trash can. You can see a fuel can. You can see an electrical outlet with a plug. And if you look really closely, you can see a little triangle with a capital A. You can see a, a little square with a capital B. You can see a little circle with a capital C. And you can see instructions on how to use the extinguisher. My goal as an instructor is to make sure that you, the student, pass the test. And the test isn't that written one that we take at the end of the class. The test is the one that happens at two o'clock or three o'clock in the afternoon or two or three o'clock in the morning in the real world where if you don't pass the test, something bad physically happens. So how can we pass the test? Well, by remembering pass. With a fire extinguisher, once I have checked to ensure that I have the right type of extinguisher for the right type of fire, I wanna pull the hose. I want to pull the pin. Your extinguisher may have a little safety seal in here, an anti-tamper device. Just twist your pin, it'll break that seal, you can pull that out. But once you've got it pulled, then I want you to aim, I've already got my A, I want you to aim the end of the hose, the nozzle, at the base of the fire. The base of the fire is where the fuel is at and the flames are touching that, they're burning right there. I'm not worried about the flames, it can be 25 feet tall. I'm not worried about that. I need to stop that fuel that's at the bottom that's burning from burning. So I need to put the flames off of that fuel and put those out. The way I do that is by squeezing, to ease and squeeze till I get to that, and then sweep. Squeeze my trigger, this flap that's just, when I squeeze that down, the little button inside, the plunger gets pushed down. And when it gets pushed down, it releases all of the agent that's inside out of the hose. And so by squeezing as, tight, as hard as I can and sweeping the end of the nozzle that I'm aiming at the fuel at the base of those flames, squeezing and sweeping back and forth, I sweep the fire off of the front edge and keep sweeping it until it is off of the fuel completely. And I have passed the test by extinguishing the fire. That's all there is to fire extinguishers. A, B, C, D, K, pull, aim, squeeze, sweep, and pass the test. Thanks for watching Fire Extinguisher Safety. I'm Glenn Trahan.